welcome everyone. Today, we are diving into an exciting discussion about experiential learning. Buckle up as we explore this innovative approach to education that goes beyond textbooks and lectures. Have you ever wondered why some lessons stick with you long after you have left the classroom? Today, we will discuss about an approach that sparks curiosity, ignites creativity, and makes learning truly unforgettable. Are you ready to embark on a journey of discovery? Let's start with some questions. How can we make learning more than just memorizing facts? How can we transform education into an adventure of exploration and understanding? The answers lie in experiences. Let me explain this with the help of a short story. Once there was a teacher. She believed that real understanding came not just from books but from hands-on experiences. Every day her classroom was transformed into a hub of discovery. She turned math into game, science into experiments and history into living stories. One day, she was teaching her class the concept of symmetry. She began by explaining what symmetry was, how one side of an object perfectly mirrored the other. To illustrate this, she handed out sheets of paper to each student and instructed them to fold them in half. As the children folded their papers, she guided them. She encouraged them to draw a shape on one side of the fold, like a butterfly or a star. Then she asked them to cut along the shape, making sure not to cut through the folded side. of wonder the children unfolded their papers. A perfectly symmetrical shape emerged with one half mirroring the other. The teacher also explained how some monuments are the most striking examples of symmetry in architecture and design. The next day she organized a field trip to the famous historical site Qutub Minar. Qutub Minar is a prime example of symmetry in architecture. As the students arrived at the monument, she pointed out the minars, repeating motifs, demonstrating how symmetry adorned its walls. As they walked around the minar, the students observed the repeating motifs, carvings and architectural elements. They excitedly pointed out how the patterns on one side mirrored those on the other, creating a harmonious balance. Why do you think this happened? What approach did the teacher adopt to make this happen? Yes, we are talking about experiential learning. You must be thinking, what is experiential learning? Is this something new? Let me tell you, experiential learning is all about learning by doing, engaging in real world experiences and reflecting on those experiences to gain insights and knowledge. The experiential approach aims at making the educational environment student-centered. The teacher facilitates or guides the students. Learning experience may be cooperative, collaborative or independent, encouraging the students to work together and learn how to question and evaluate evidence 
rather than accepting truths communicated by anyone. Did you know that this is not something new? A well-established education system existed in India even in ancient times. There used to be residential schools known as Gurukuls. Gurukuls in ancient India were pioneers of experiential learning. They believed in holistic education that went beyond textbooks and lectures. Students lived with their gurus and engaged in hands-on activities like farming, craftsmanship and cooking. Nature was valued with outdoor activities and walks, reflection and discussions, fostered critical thinking and self-awareness. You must be thinking, why should we adopt this age-old approach? We should definitely implement this because it accelerates learning, provides a safe learning environment, produces demonstrable mindset changes, increases engagement levels, exceptionally effective for retention, enables personalized learning. The curriculum framework asserts that students must be able to dissent, debate and form individual opinions on situations, ideas, systems and practices by developing skills to think and reason independently. Their experiences can be as simple as visiting a farm to observe and understand the process of farming, germinating a seed or simulating volcano eruption. A complete learning cycle happens only when a learner goes through all the stages of learning that is cognition, perception, behavior, experience and reflection. Theory conceived by David Cole unveils learning as a cycle. It has four stages concrete experience, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, active experimentation. Stage 1 Concrete experience. Our adventure begins with the concrete experience stage. At this stage, the learner shows personal involvement with others in everyday situations. In concrete situations, learner tends to depend more on feelings, open-mindedness and adivity to change rather than on a systematic approach to situations and problems. Envision a science class where students are nurturing plants. Here in the classroom, students plant seeds and observe them sprout. The direct interaction with the plants is the essence of the concrete experience. Stage 2 Reflective Observation At this stage, learners understand situations and ideas from different points of view. They depend on objectivity, patience and careful judgment but do not essentially take any action. As the plants grow, we transition to the reflective observation stage. Students pause to reflect on the growth process. The plants here did not grow. It is now time to reflect more deeply on what has happened in that situation. The prominent questions in this stage are What worked? What failed? Why did the situation arise? Stage 3 
abstract conceptualization at this stage learners use ideas logical approaches and theories rather than interpersonal issues or feelings to understand situations or problems drawing from their observations students might explore the impact of environmental factors and conceptualize how plants adapt to their surroundings they try to find out reason of the failed experiment stage 4 active experimentation the students modify existing concepts and knowledge with the new theory they came up with and apply in later occasions they formulate techniques to be taken care of when attempting the same task again students might alter the watering methods adjust sunlight exposure and even introduce different nutrients to observe how plants respond in closing kolb's theory of experiential learning unfolds as a living cycle that mirrors our interaction with the world from planting seeds to nurturing growth this theory empowers us to learn through experience and reflection experiential learning engages all five senses to provide a holistic and immersive educational experience let's break down how each sense contributes to the learning process sight Visual stimuli play a crucial role in experiential learning. Observing real-world scenarios, objects, and places allows learners to understand concepts in context. For example, visiting historical sites like the Qutub Minar enables students to see architectural details. patterns and symmetry up close hearing auditory experiences enhance learning by providing context explanations and opportunities for discussions touch physical interaction with objects enhances understanding touching textures or engaging in hands on activities like measuring and sketching patterns at the qutub minar helps reinforce concepts through tactile experiences taste while taste might not be directly related to all learning experiences it can be incorporated in specific contexts for example in lessons about cultures or history tasting traditional foods can create a memorable connection and enrich learners understanding smell a sense of smell can trigger strong memories and associations experiencing different scents like the aroma of spices at a local market during history lesson can create lasting memories Experiential learning offers a wide range of activities that promote active engagement, critical thinking, and practical application of knowledge. Here are some examples of activities that can be incorporated in your lesson plans. Simulations create simulated real-life scenarios. where students can apply their knowledge and problem solving skills field trips take students on educational outings to museums historical sites nature reserves or industry specific locations role plays assign students roles in different scenarios to encourage empathy decision making and teamwork project based learning engage students in hands on projects that require research planning and implementation for example designing and building a prototype organizing a community event or creating a multimedia presentation outdoor activities take learning outside the classroom 
by conducting experiments, nature walks or environmental conservation projects. Collaborative work Assign students to work in teams to solve complex problems or complete projects. Case studies. Present real life case studies or scenarios relevant to the subject. Debates and discussions. Organize debates or discussions on various topics, allowing students to express their opinions analyze different viewpoints and strengthen their argumentative skills. Service learning. Combine community service with learning objectives. Students actively engage in projects that address community needs, applying their knowledge and skills to make a positive impact. Reflection and journals. Allocate time for students to reflect on their experiences, record their thoughts, and analyze their learning process. Remember, the key is to design activities that align with the learning objectives. Provide opportunities for active participation and allow students to connect theory with real-life applications. Experiential learning can be adapted and tailored to fit the specific needs and learning objectives of each class. Experiential learning goes beyond traditional teaching methods, immersing students in hands-on experiences that ignite their curiosity, foster critical thinking and connect their learning to the real world. Experiential learning nurtures not only academic growth but also the development of essential life skills. Let us embrace experiential learning as a transformative approach that empowers students to become lifelong learners, critical thinkers and compassionate global citizens. We will see you next time. Till then, happy learning.